Welcome to ATP Customs. Well, today you get a square body Chevy update on the square bodies in the shop because the C10 is coming together. We're now through the crappiest part of the job, which was all the rust repair floors and rocker panels and cab corners. And we are just putting panels on. Mr. White is lining things up, seeing how everything fits. We have I'm not sure who made it, but some type of aftermarket hood with a two and a half inch cowl. Two inch or two and a half inch, not quite sure. We have a factory Chevy Fender, which this one happens to be the best fitting one out of some of the other ones that we had here. So we're going to go with that one. It's got a few repairs on the inside to do. And I believe this is the one we're going to take over to Calver Coatings and have them uh, use their cool new rust removal laser cleaning system on. We're going with one of the, I think they were Cobra King doors made in Taiwan. This one actually doesn't fit too bad. There's a few little body line issues that we're going to have to manipulate. But everything's just kind of sitting there. It hasn't actually been lined up. We're just starting to try it all out. And the whole roof had an entire layer of mud on it, only to cover up a couple of the tiniest little dents. So that all had to come off. It's got some guide coat on it now. We are getting to the really fun part of prepping for paint soon. But it looks awesome. This one's going to be very cool. I'm currently trying to talk to him into a big block conversion instead of sticking with the small block, but he did, he did kind of mention an LS too, so we're not opposed to that. But all we are doing on this truck is we are doing the body and paint and then he's going to take it home and finish it. But we will still get to be a part of it and feature it when it is done. So very excited about that. Love seeing them when they get to this point, when we get to be ready for paint. Haven't got to this door. We won't be using the Cobra King door on this side. That one was really horrible. And it looks like the red fender fits better on this side. so. We will know a little more once the uh, other door is back on, but it's not quite on yet. So, let's go talk about the zombie next. And on to the zombie. Now, the zombie had showed up, had a bunch of issues with it, and the gentleman was, because of things going on in the world, he had decided that Mr. Power, the tree hugger, arborist services, was going to sell it. So we put it up for sale while I was fixing everything, and I had, I'm gonna say at least 40 emails on this truck. Of course, everybody trying to lowball you. Sorry, you don't get cool trucks for cheap prices. So he has decided that he loves the truck so much he is going to keep it, which makes me very happy. I love seeing this thing around and being part of our family because it always gets to come back and I get to do more fun stuff to it. So we did a bunch of rock guarding, got rid of all the rust and I restored the running boards. We had to put new batteries in it because they were too tall and actually burning up on the hood. Had to go back to a stock turbo because the uh, other one was not very good, I guess. <laughs> the other turbo was worn out. Was not producing any boost, so I just put the stock one on for now. Currently, we are running a whopping 160 horse. So we're gonna try, and I've been doing a lot of reading on how you can pull 350 horse safely out of this and 700 foot-pounds of torque, because his complaint is this will not pull a trailer. It does not have enough. So we are, uh, we've got all the main issues sorted out. I actually had to rebuild the driver's seat, and I got to learn how to cut my own foam. It's a little bit loose, but the material was all stretched already because it was completely sacked out and leaning down so uh, I had to go buy a big chunk of foam and it was very tough to find around town right now and actually cut my own foam, which I learned about upholstery a little bit that I would do more of it. So I'm gonna be rebuilding my Dodge seat in my 2008 Dodge pretty quick once I order the foam for that. But uh, anyway, on to new stuff. So the 37 inch tires are done. They're garbage and winter's coming. So we had these kicking around a set of 18s, GT radials, which are going to be much better. Oh yes, had to do a whole new steering box and rag joint in this thing as well. It had all sorts of oil leaks from various places. But we have a new steering box now and it steers like a dream. 
So the zombie is leaving before the weekend. This will be your Thursday video and Friday it is going back home to Calgary, Alberta. Going back to do some more work. I'm very, very happy that this thing's actually going to continue its life of what it does and still be part of our family. I love that. Obviously we love our vehicles a lot. It's making me want to build another crew cab though because now I want to build a bigger, better one. So this one will be for work and I do have another crew cab. I have a 77 and thanks to Dock Station, which I'm going to pop up right now so you can see Dock Station's channel. I like to mention it because he builds such a cool crew cab. We're going to do a short box conversion as soon as I can get it in the shop. I just love this thing. I can't stop looking at it. So there you go. Chevy square body updates this week. And uh, we actually have something really fun and exciting to go look at tonight. We may have a, a new trailer coming home. We shall see. As soon as it is, I will be doing a video, but we may have a whole new race trailer setup coming. You will know by Friday. But thank you for watching, and I hope you subscribe.